Welcome to Real Talk Christian Podcast, where we will be joining together for the next few weeks to talk about Advent. Today marks the beginning of the season of Advent. The word Advent means coming or arrival and speaks of Jesus' arrival that first Christmas morning in Bethlehem. The season of Advent is a time when we joyously and prayerfully anticipate the celebration of Jesus' first coming. And we look forward to his second coming while also affirming that he is present in the world today, offering his redeeming love to anyone who will simply receive it. One of the most beautiful symbols of Advent season is the tradition of the Advent wreath. The Advent wreath is intended to help us keep our focus on the real reason for the season, the birth of the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Each Sunday leading up to Christmas, we will be talking about the different candles represented in order, hope, peace, joy, and love. Although we usually light these candles in our homes, we obviously can't do that here on the podcast, but we will still talk about the candles as a way to remember each week in the Advent season. So join us for the next four weeks and then for the final episode on Christmas Day as we set time to focus our eyes, minds, and hearts on Jesus, the true reason for the season. Today, Christians around the world light the first candle of the Advent wreath, which symbolizes hope or expectation. It represents both the eager anticipation of the coming Messiah woven throughout the Old Testament and the promise that Jesus will return to the earth to claim his redeemed, woven through the New Testament. Just as Mary and Joseph eagerly anticipated Jesus' arrival, we eagerly wait for his second coming when we will spend eternity with him. Let's read Luke chapter 1, verses 26 through 38 together. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin engaged to a man named Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. And the angel came to her and said, Greetings, favored woman. The Lord is with you. But she was deeply troubled by this statement, wondering what kind of greeting this could be. Then the angel told her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Now listen, you will conceive and give birth to a son, and you will name him Jesus, and he will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give him the throne of his father David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and his kingdom will have no end. Mary asked the angel, How can this be? since I have not had any sexual relations with the man. The angel replied to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the Holy One one to be born will be called the Son of God. And consider your relative Elizabeth. Even she has conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month of her who was called childless, for nothing will be impossible with God. See, I am the Lord's servant, said Mary. May it happen to me as you have said. Then the angel left her. Let's pray to God, thanking him for the hope that you have in Christ. Dear gracious and heavenly Father, we just thank you for this time and this season. Lord, we thank you for coming to this earth and providing hope in a hopeless scenario for us. Lord, we just thank you for this time that we are able to spend together reflecting upon you and your words. And Lord, we just, again, thank you for entering this world to save us from our sins. In Jesus' name, amen. We hope to see you guys next Sunday here at Real Talk Christian Podcast for our week two of our Advent season. Happy holidays, and God bless.